Hi guys, so you remember I created a video called Lawn Care Shopping List and it was a list of products just to get you going, get things started in looking after your lawn. Now my order came, what, four weeks ago, something like that, and it's been in the shed ever since. We've just had a really, really busy spring with customer renovations. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring these products over, get them unboxed, and we can have a look and get going. Seaweed, multi-mite, seaweed, okay, just nice to get that on your lawn from time to time. Weed all. Those lawns, not weeds, treats up to 667 square metres. We've got around 50 square metres, so I should get 10 applications out of this, which is plenty for one or two years. So we've got A1 lawn fertiliser, spring and summer. Okay, never used it, so we'll see how we get on. Oregon back sprayer, that pet sprayer. So we've got some weed killer, we're going to be mixing that up, using it in that, and um, fertilizer. So I did mention a little hand spreader, which um, if you haven't got one, you'll need one to apply fertilizer. The backpack sprayer, you're going to use it to spray the weeds on your lawn can also use it to put seaweed on. Now if you're doing just a seaweed treatment you need to rinse that out three times before you put the seaweed on. So if you've had weed killer in you need to put some water in, spray it through into an area you don't use or a designated waste area um, and then fill it with water and repeat three times so it's nice and clean and clear and there's no residue of that and then you can just apply seaweed and what you can do um, you can actually put a little bit of seaweed in with your weed killer and so you get them down at the same time just to make life a bit easier <laughs> okay pump handle Instructions. Let's see if we actually need them. This is your handle which pumps and generally that will go underneath for me left hand side pumping up and down to keep the pressure up. Right hand side is for holding your nozzle and squeezing the trigger to spray out. So this is the back. Shoulder pads. Okay. And they clip on. Somewhere down there. fixing the small pin of the fastener into the small hole of the rocker bar. Okay, no pins. More than likely they'll be inside. Let's take that out. You can hear something rattling about inside. Filter, lid. 
Yeah. All the bits are in here. All the rubbers, the O-rings, the nozzles, the ends for the sprayers, and the little pins. Okay, of the hose and the trigger. And that, you can lock it like that while you're spraying if you're on a big garden. Very rare you'll use that, but I suppose it comes in handy. So this is the bits we need. I may need a tool just to get these pins on, but we shall see. So, this is going to be strapped over your shoulder like that, and the other one land there. Like I say, pump handle on the left. Okay, I better look at the instructions so that I actually do it properly. Right, 22. Insert the fastener for rocker bar, fixing the small pin of the fastener into the small hole of the rocker bar. See, when you look at that, number 22 on there, does not look like that. It looks like that. Oh yeah, I can see that now actually. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this in the same orientation. So that goes So, what I figured out is this rocker bar fixer that just sits there. So we're just resting that onto there like that. Leaving the little clip pointing down. Lever up the pressure lid of air chamber. So that the whole of the rocker bar fixer aligns with the connecting rod, insert the connecting rod into the rocker bar fixer. So we turn this and lift that up. So this is undoing it. Oh yeah. Are you guys see that okay? We've undone this, push this up. Now this, okay, it's just a little bit getting it all to line up. So I undid this and this then slid up and down easily. I had to bring this rocker arm forward. I'm just looking at this now. It looks like that actually sits. We'll cross that bridge in a minute. Anyway, use a split pin, it says, to secure it. So that goes into there. So I'll get that fastened in. Just bend the little pins with me uh, pliers. OK, 
okay. It's going nowhere. And that's what we've done. We've levered up the pressure layer of the air chamber so that the whole of the rocker bar fixer aligns with the connecting rod. Insert the connecting rod into this and fix it with the split. So this does have to sit in these little grooves here, like so. So that's where we're up to now. Okay, and you can, I'm, I'm pressing the handle up and down and it is changing that up and down, which will put the pressure in and out. So, what is next? <clears throat> Attach the spray hose. Screw the spray hose to the other side of the air chamber. Okay. So, this is the spray hose. This is the handle bit, and this is the bit that's going to screw onto that. have a look at the pictures for reference you can see it screws on and then comes down there okay it's not mentioned any washers plastics on I think there's a washer in there actually so Okay, attach, screw the wand to the trigger. So we have the trigger, where did I put the wand? Any magicians about for the wand? Yeah. Right, so this should be straightforward. Okay. So this will screw on to there, like so. All right, it goes into there, and there's a rubber washer in there, and this is what screws on. Okay, so that's now on, and then we've got the same at the other end with an O-ring, and this will come up for you to decide which particular nozzle you want to use. All I'm doing here, it depends which way we're going to spray and which nozzle. Looks like they've only given us two like a cone nozzle and one of those so anyway you put that on just fastening that on okay now when you hold it you want to be able to squeeze with the trigger underneath your hand like that and you want the nozzle that way okay so it's facing down 
okay you don't want this facing to the right or left so what I'm trying to say here this is looking at it from the front so the fan goes across left to right and it's coming out down um, on the flat fan nozzles you would have all of this end piece turned around and facing up and then the flat fan forces out that way so you get you get your orientation like so it's nice and square and get it tight so so as I'm here it's gone off to the right which is no good you want that in line that that is what we want like that okay so you'll have to do a bit of tweaking you've got to try and hold that get this nice and tight and then okay feels pretty good actually See now it's coming loose here so you've got to make sure all of these are really tight so we just have spare washers here I would say keep these for when you want to clean or service things but we are there Unless there is something I'm missing. Nope, that's all fine. Clip the carrying strap of the harness to the bottom of the sprayer. So. These. So it's it's clipped on okay it just clips on there and pushes on this comes down here so they fed it through this side hole and down and then that's on there. So we've got to do the same on this side. Don't need much, just a, a litre maybe. What we're doing here is just checking to make sure there's no leaks. There's nothing worse than chemicals leaking all over your clothes and leaking onto your lawn and burning your lawn. You need everything nice and tight. So you should really go around with some good tools to make sure all your little fastenings are nice and tight. There. And checking these ones here on the trigger. Tight. Tight. And tight. Okay. So we'll put it on now and we'll give it a little spray and just see what it's like.
really easy to get on when you've only got a bit of chemical in but if you've got 20 litres in you really should rest it on a bench or on the top of a bin a waste bin it's a good height you rest it on and then you get down okay so we need pressure okay keep pumping until it feels stiff Okay, that's perfect. It was a lovely mist what came out and we are looking at approximately a metre, just over a metre in width, as I suggested. So I'm quite happy with this, it's all set up. So I think that will do for this video. But we are gonna get into using the other products and I will do videos for those. Like I say, we've got a video the fertilizer and the weed killer which will be going in this sprayer and also the seaweed as well but we'll get to those so i think that's enough for this particular video so thanks for watching please give us a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and we'll see you on the next one thanks